I think, of somebody who's been really making it um, in the art world and uh, still remaining here in the county to do so. And as you can see, the county is such a reflection of that in a lot of his work that's here. Um, I'm going to sort of brag about him a little bit. Oh, good. You can do that. <laughs> if I don't have to. Um, I, I think it's pretty awesome that we have him and that he has kind of committed to the county because um, he can pretty much go anywhere. Um, in 2012, he was named one of the top 50 emerging artists by Art Business News. Um, his work is collected across uh, 30 countries around the world. So, I mean, like I said, he can go anywhere, but he chooses to be here in the county. Um, and then in 2011, he was the Art Expo Challenge winner out of 700 artists. That's no small feat and lots of competition. <laughs> so I, I feel so that it's really pretty awesome to see somebody who's so dedicated to his work and dedicated to doing it here in the county and we're thrilled that you started here at Umpy. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm not going to say much more. I'm going to let him take it away. So Tim got here. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Kind of inspired how I see things. There's some art that has maybe a political message to it. Um, some is more based on my surroundings, uh, how I see the landscape. I feel like the landscape's alive. It is alive, but you know, it has emotion, it has power. Um, there's a lot to the landscape, and that's why I try to capture. I don't try to capture it as a photo. I don't try to paint a tree exactly how I see it. Um, I try to paint it how I think it would feel. So when you look at my paintings, that's kind of what it's about. It's more about the feeling rather than the thing in the image. I, I would like to say that uh, having worked with Tim for years and years as a former student and watched his career you know, blossom from where it was to where it is today, uh, he's been a true inspiration for me as a teacher to see when you plant a seed what can happen to somebody who has a work ethic, has a vision, and is persistent, is humble, willing to take advice, willing to look beyond uh, you know, the cliche solutions and so forth. And when I think of Tim, Tim is an inspiration for me. He's like, when I feel like I'm feeling sorry for myself or kind of dragging, and I, I think, well, who's out there? Tim. Tim. Tim's like this energy machine out there, cranking it out every day. I know he's in his studio working, no matter if he feels bad, uh, if you're feeling down, he's in there working and he's in there uh, uh, coming up with new visions that you see on the wall here. And uh, he's, he's been a real joy for me as a teacher to experience that over you know a long period of time, watching him grow from where he was. I still have the first slide of a painting that he did when he broke up with his girlfriend. <laughs> he painted a... Uh, he uh, painted a she broke up with me. <laughs> She broke up with me. It was the other way around. Oh, okay. yeah. It's better for my story, so go ahead. He painted himself with a smiling mask halfway down with a very sad face. And I still have that slide, and I still look at it quite often. So, uh, congratulations. Thank, thank you. I appreciate that a lot. More, more than I can say.